Time for some quick hits. Let's see what went down this week, shall we? But before we do it, let's take a minute to appreciate my brand new microphone sponsored by DK Gobbles Gigios. Um, no, seriously, thank you, Dan. Much appreciated piece of equipment. Um, I need a name for it. So let me know in the comments below what would you like me to name it? Her name is Shore at the moment, but I don't know. I feel like I need something better. Anyway, quick hits. Um, National Treasure films. Do we remember those with Nick Cage? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm that old. I actually do. Okay, I need to. I seriously need to stop doing this. But <laughs> if you do, uh, do you remember Ben Gates' best friend Riley Poole, played by Justin Bartha? Why are we reminiscing about this, you might ask? Well, Disney Plus is currently developing a new series set in the world of National Treasure films, and our favorite treasure hunting tech genius is coming back. I do like Justin Bartha. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Bartha is set guest, is to, to guest star, pardon me, is to guest star in a series while Disney is also reportedly working on a National Treasure 3. So excited, Dan. Are we excited though? Not so much. No, no, no. We don't need another National Treasure film. I really don't think so, but um, moving on. Another franchise. <laughs> I mean, who would have thought? Fantastic Beasts. Yeah, if you haven't quite jumped on board the Fantastic Beasts films, you're about to get another chance to return to the wizarding world this weekend. Wizarding World. Really? We really went for that one. If you're in China, that return will be six minutes shorter. The Hollywood Reporter revealed this week that Warner Bros. recently struck an agreement with Chinese authorities to cut a small chunk out of Fantastic Beasts, The Secret of, Secrets of Dumbledore that contains direct references to Grindelwald and Dumbledore's romantic past. But despite its censorship of the but despite the censorship of the two characters' gay relationship, Warner Bros. insists that the spirit of the film remains intact. Now, if you've seen the film, let us know if you agree. Yeah, seriously, let us know because we're not going to watch that film. I mean, I won't. I know Andrew won't, I know Roland won't. I don't think Dan won't, will either, so... We need to know, will the film, will the story play out? <laughs> but actually, it's quite interesting that Dumbledore and Grimwald are a thing. I, I didn't know that, that's completely news to me. Anyway, um... Let's calm down because now it's slightly, yeah, let's let's have a serious tone. Because on Tuesday, we learned that legendary comedian Gilbert Gottfried has passed away after a long struggle with a rare genetic muscle disorder. He was 67 at the time of his passing and is survived by his wife and two children. He will be missed. That is um, very sad. And um, we will be dropping an episode of Also Memorable this week uh, where we discuss the life and work of Gilbert Gottfried. So make sure to check one that one to check that one out if you're not sure about who Gilbert Gottfried is. Last but not least, uh, Variety revealed this week that the newly formed Warner Bros. Discovery, under the leadership of a former Discovery CEO, David Zaslav, is looking to do a major overhaul of DC Entertainment. Despite featuring some of the most popular characters of all time, including Batman, Superman and Wonder Woman, DC has struggled to keep up with Marvel at the box office. And with a revolving door of executives constantly changing creative direction over the past decade, yeah, that that's true. I think that's what seriously like hurts the brand and um, that's why they haven't been producing a really good content lately. Zaslav believes that the key to unlocking DC's potential perhaps includes into a Kevin Feige like creative and strategic char of its own or, or Zara. Um, okay, big changes are coming to DC. Are you excited about them? Yeah, we are. Um, but that's it. Them's are the quick hits. And by the way, have you been watching The Moon Knight? I mean, wow, this show keeps getting crazier every week. Does it though, Dan? Does it get crazier? Um, but yeah, as Dan says, we've been watching and reviewing this this past three weeks now. So ever since it got out, it came out. So, um, yeah have a look like we're discussing it we're having so much fun with reviewing this episode andrew's suffering through it Roll is just kind of like yeah i love it i'm excited and i'm just there to slay or praise the cgi and moan about the lack of egyptian gods or not um 
But yeah, it's good. It's great fun. So make sure to check this out and let us know in the comments below what you think. Like, subscribe, follow, you know, the usual. And we're signing off. And goodbye and good night. And I just want to keep speaking more words because I really enjoy using this microphone. And anyway, no, have a good night, guys. Bye. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> it's really tenth time. I always get to the end and then I screw it up. I mess up a line or something. Hello. Just go. I, I always go to the end and then I mess it up somehow.